Well, I think we hit the jackpot, boys. Anyway, I got all of this done today. Uh, anybody want to buy some heated seats? Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. It's a drive-by wire system, so I took the gas pedal. I may still take the brake and the booster. I'm also considering putting that shifter into Jolene, so then it's not all ratchet shifty, and put the ratchet shifter on this guy. Uh, I don't know. That'll save me a few hundred bucks. And then I started cutting. Put the wheels out of the way. Got this all stripped down. Going to get this front clip off and then try and start cutting into this guy. But I'm noticing <clears throat> this, uh, this shock tower is going to be too tall and too wide to fit under the bug when it's smashed. So I thought about, well, I could make a push rod suspension and have the shocks inboard on the roll bars. But then this is that stupid kind of lower control arm shock one unit type of hub. So then I thought, well, I could build an upper A arm and just mount it to here and then st ow, still have the push rod suspension. Um, that's going to take some engineering, but that way I don't have to redesign all of this or find a hub that has upper control arm, lower control arm, and then buy upper and lower control arms and blah, blah, blah. So, I don't know. Um, I could probably cut all this away and build something. But now it's looking like since there's just a lower, lower motor mount on this side and one just like it on the other side. And then there's the two upper engine mounts. There's no upper rear. So I could easily make a cage and uh, tube it and then just re-engineer that so that the wheels come out right where I want it and then build tube control arms and tube um, shock. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's, uh, it's becoming a bag of worms. Um, I'm the only one to do this, so it's going to take some figuring to see what... Uh, What's going to be best? And, um, yeah. I don't know. If you got some ideas, post them. Otherwise, I'm pretty much thinking it's going to end up being a dune buggy that that is just bolted into and get rid of the whole K frame and motor mount system because it's aluminum bolted to the steel. And it's fucking huge. And, uh, can't weld to it obviously and that's blown and this is a really shitty design so I don't know I'm gonna have to think about it for a minute but I'm, I'm leaning towards uh, maybe keeping this cage and the steel deck and get rid of everything above it making some kind of upper control arm that connects to that just so it has lateral support and all the lateral rigidity is not being taken up by the push rod suspension that's going inboard. Um, yeah, I think that's probably the best bet. So we'll see.